There's no turning back now. We're deserters, for sure. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty, too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. The vows I said here, I meant them. I was a brother. But the Night's Watch betrayed me. And that's on them. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester, and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. I want to try talking to him first, see if we can work this out. And if that fails? Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together, then. to obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you? me. You? I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. What's going on here, Griff? He's disobedient, just like you were, Roderick, <laughs> before I brought you to heal. So now he's paying the price. My hand! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't believe you. <laughs> You're a piece of shit, Griff. You know that. Oh! You've got quite the mouth on you, Roderick. You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Go ahead. Come at me, Griff. My fucking pleasure. 
God! Fucking, you're dead, Roderick! I doubt that. Grab him! Don't just stand there! He is not the Lord! Kill anyone that moves! You heard him! Stop now! You can't do this! Now then, about humility. Get your hands off me! Maester, are you alright? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton. You flay you, and your sister, and your own fucking family! I did warn you, Griff. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone... <laughs> Is this the man you'd rather have? This crap... Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you so- You need to stop! Roderick! No! No, you can't! Why are you protecting him? I'm not protecting him, I'm protecting Ryan! When Lud hears of this, don't you realize what they'll do to him? If you kill Griff, Ryan will be the one to suffer. I made a promise, Mother. I intend to honor it. I want him dead, believe me. But not at the cost of Ryan's life. Besides, he may still be useful to us. It's all right, Roderick. Least I could do. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. Not reach high point. You must be sure of it. Not until we want it to. Kill the ravens. All of them. I swear I will. Fuck you and your queen. That's enough. So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of shipbrain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there. Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage. What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking about? I will not let about? you bark orders at me. Hey, 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 calm down. Calm down. What's going on here? I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you, you going to do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, Vesca. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck... I'll talk to her. Good. If she can't hold it together... We're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Mr. anyway! what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> oh. Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. Unfortunately, we have to listen to him, even if he is an arsehole. He's in charge of this mission, and what he says goes... He's not in charge of me. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? 
You're fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. You brought me here. I'm doing this for my family, Biscuit. This is oh, the only it's way. It's always about you. Your family. Your problems. Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. Is this what you want? Get off me. I can't. I can't talk about it. Whatever your problem is with Marine, you have to get over it. Get over it. I was a slave. Here. In this fucking city. <sighs> I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pit to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. That's... What kind of a monster would do that to a child? To him, we were not children. We were his playthings. His... Entertainment. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next... He was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it, smiling. Here. Yeah. Thank you, little brother. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. I know you won't. in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? I need to speak with Lords Morgrin and Andros. One of them might be working against my family. Doing what? If I knew that, I wouldn't be here. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. And I'm not really interested in joining you on her behalf.